look at the treatment for H, for H. pylori infection. <clears throat> See, this actually is important pharmacology, uh, for pharmacology also. So, pay attention here. So, here we are talking about uh, the treatment. What are we trying to treat? We are trying to treat duodenal or gastric ulcers which are symptomatic. The person has come to us and they are saying that they have problem. So, what we will give is multi-drug regimen. We will not use a single antibiotic. Why? Because monotherapy is not useful because these, uh, these uh, colonies are, you know, they have reached this niche. So, they are um, doing their best in that level. So, to break that, we need a multi-drug regime. So, the success of the treatment depends on the compliance of the patient and also the susceptibility of these bacteria to these antibiotics. Look at the drug regime. Here you have first line of triple therapy drug. See, what you need to see, first you will give triple therapy drug. First you will give omeprazole. Omeprazole is a proton pump inhibitor, right? And clarithromycin antibiotic. And you can give amoxicillin. So you will give these three for 7 to 14 days. Then you will check the urea breath. If it is after one month, you will check urea breath. You will give the medicine for 7 to 14 days. After one month, you will check the urea breath test. If the, the triple drug therapy has failed, that means the urea breath test is positive. You will go for a quadruple drug therapy. In quadruple drug therapy, you will give same omeprazole plus bismuth subsalicate metroneadazole. The same thing which we had given here, right? Metroneadazole, right? Tetracycline is added. Bismuth subsalicylate and tetracycline. Metroneadazole is what? It is also an antibiotic. Okay. It is also an antibiotic. Only. Fine. So again for 14 days you will give 4 of these. What does bismuth subsalicylate? Bismuth subsalicylate is actually a bactericidal. And hence it will become an antacid. Tetracycline is an antibiotic. So, you will give these 4 for 14 days. Again, you will do, um, uh, you will check whether there is improvement or not. Fine, if it fails, that means urea breath test fails again. You will do culture of the endoscopy guided, that is invasive. You will go invasive, right? You are going to go invasive now. And you will do the endoscopy guided biopsy. And then you will also do an antimicrobial antibiotic susceptibility test. After which you will give the new drugs. Remember for every lab diagnosis you should write antibiotic susceptibility test. We kind of forgot that in the previous videos to mention. At the end of every lab diagnosis, please write this antibiotic susceptibility testing. Okay. Let us summarize here what we have learnt. We will give uh, treatment for H. pylori infection. Basically, it will be multi-drug. We don't want to give individual drugs because there is a lot of colonization. So, let us uh, try, start with triple 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 what is that triple drug therapy under triple drug therapy you have omeprazole which is a proton pump inhibitor you have clarithromycin clarithromycin then you have metro nidazole metro Nidazole or you can give amoxicillin. If this fails, this actually you will give for 14, 7 to 14 days. Okay. 
after one month only you will do the urea breath test if that fails then you will give the quadruple drug therapy in which you'll give omeprazole instead of clarithromycin you'll get bismuth sub salicylate which is a bacterio bactericidal agent and you will also add the fourth drug that is tetracycline this again you will give for 14 days again if there is failure you will do a endoscopy guided biopsy get the tissue and then you will do an antibiotic susceptibility testing to know which drug might work is this much clear okay good In this video let us look at uh, helicobacter pylori infection the pathogenesis okay yeah so you should know one thing h pylori colonizes 50 percent okay 50 percent of the world's human population in their stomach it will colonize okay yeah. this is one of the things and uh, the colonization is favored because of some factors it is favored because of the motility motility of the h pylori it is h pylori is highly motile it is uh, four to it has four to eight unipolar flagella we told you right it has some seven sheep flagella etc so it is having four to eight four to eight yeah. unipolar flagella did you understand yeah good now um, it is going to remain in the viscous environment of the mucus layer overlying the gastric mucosa so where it is going to be it is going to be over the gastric mucosa okay yeah now one more reason that the h pylori is able to survive in the stomach is because it has acid resistance it has acid resistance which may be here yeah, due to these enzymes urease enzyme obviously we have spoken about urease enzyme already right urease enzyme yes urease enzyme and uh, amidase arginase r Genase. Amidase arginase. Amidase armin. Arginase. Arginase. <laughs> arginase. Okay. So it has, uh, it is able to survive because of the motility and because of, um, one second, and because of the acid resistance. So it is able to resist the acid right this is what is the main important point how is it able to resist the acid because of urease enzyme etc enzymes then one more thing which is favoring its uh, uh, colonization in the stomach see the word you have to use here is colonization okay colonization is favored by okay oh yes yes colonization is favored by motility acid resistance and there is a third point here that you have to know that is adhesins okay say adhesins adhesins very good so the most though most of the h pylori remain within the mucus with the mucus layer within the mucus layer a few 
टू परसेंट में बाइंड टू म्यूकोसिल एपिथीलियम सो फ्यू ऑफ देम कैन इवन बाइंड टू द म्यूकोसिल एपिथीलियम से एपिथीलियम यस सो दे आर गोइंग टू एड दे आर गोइंग टू बाइंड टू द म्यूकोसिल एपिथीलियम by expressing a few adhesion molecules such as blood group antigen binding adhesion okay lewis blood group antigen some blood group type of antigens and uh, adherence associated lipo protein by this some this is easy to remember adhesion some adhesion proteins they have and because of this they are able to even bind to the mucosal epithelium some more things we can know here is one more point is there which helps its uh, colonization in the stomach resistance to oxidative stress so it is able to resist oxidative stress so it produces many detoxifying enzymes detoxifying enzymes it producing that protect against the effects of oxygen derived free radicals generated from the bacterium's own metabolism and the inflammatory defenses of the hosts so basically it can protect Uh, itself from the oxygen derived free radicals which are derived from the bacteria's own metabolism well let us see what and all is uh, favors the colonization of h pylori motility number 1 motility acid resistance it can it's motile it is resistant to acid of the gastric acid and it has adhesins which will help it bind to the mucosal epithelium and also resistant to the oxidative stress right resistance to the oxidative stress so these are the four points which helps it colonize let's continue in the next video